In middle school, I was a butterfly thief. I stole caterpillars rolled into cocoons from the bushes outside my classroom. I nestled them into leaves on top of my desk across from my bunk bed and a few weeks later I woke to a morning light of trembling butterflies. I read recently that 40% of pollinator species, this includes butterflies and bees, are facing extinction. One of the leading causes, climate change. Warmer winters force plants to shift their schedules so that when a bee comes out of hibernation, the flowers it normally feeds on has already bloomed and died. As a result, populations of the monarch butterfly and the rusty patch bumblebee has declined by as much as 80%. I came across the cartoon of a bumblebee, cute, tubby, and smiling with a little cartoon bubble above its head that read, if we die, we're taking you with us. Might as well put a Marshallese face over that bumblebee because if our islands, the Marshall Islands, drowns out due to the rising sea level, who do you think will be next? I'm taking you with me. Another contributing factor to the decline of bees and butterflies are pesticides. For bees, the pesticides cloud their vision so that they lose their way and die before they reach their home. How many of us will die before we get to go home? We'll take a boat to an island that was once whole, now reduced to sand and stone. Some stories say our ancestors came from Volcano Stone, a basalt rock goddess rooted in reef. Today, I keep a basalt rock on my bookshelf. What tokens of our land shall we, will we store in ourselves inside our honeycomb of chest bones, the buzzing of a shore long gone? I'm taking you with me. In this past week, my newsfeed erupted with the announcement of Rex Tillerson, ExxonMobil CEO, being named Secretary of State by U.S. President Donald Trump. ExxonMobil knew of climate change since 1981, but continued to fund climate deniers for the next 27 years. So whose colony is it collapsing today? Is it really just the bees? Or is it also the human race funding our own world to be washed into the sea? Trust, I'm taking you with me. On a visit to Kalalan Island, a man takes my hand and he swears he was waiting for me. He points to another island just a few feet away called Elegan. He says 10 years ago it was lush, full of coconut and pandanus trees, now reduced to sand and stone. He says what's dead is dead. You can't save this one, but you gotta save the others. The Prime Minister of Tuvalu was quoted as saying, if we save Tuvalu, we save the world. But what if we don't save Tuvalu? What if bees and butterflies become extinct? What if our islands don't survive? Just who do you think will be next? I'm taking you with me. I'm taking you with me. I'm taking you with me.